Today we are working on factoring using GCF. GCF stands for um, greatest common factor. You probably remember greatest common factor when you worked on fractions when you were little. So what we are mainly doing over here is our goal is to rewrite polynomial expression of degree one or two, so x squared or just x. Um, x with the one is degree one and x squared means degree two. In equivalent form, so they are going to be equal, we just rewrite them using the distributive property. So we have done the distributive proper, uh, property before, which means um, we multiply whatever is outside the parentheses with everything inside. And then the way we do is kind of by making loops. So 2n multiplied by 4n is 8n squared. And then 2n multiplied by positive 5 is plus 10n. So this is multiplication and I use the distributive property. Our goal today is actually to go backwards. So I have this and I'm gonna go backward in order to factor it out and make it look like this. They both are equal, that's why it's called equivalent. So if I graph them on the calculator, they are equal or same graphs. That's how I can check whether I solved it correctly or not. For polynomials, the blank is the largest term that divides evenly into each term, and greatest common factor. Which is also known as GCF. Standard form and factor form, here are some examples that we are going to look into. And then um, they're easy, to be honest. They're not that difficult. Um, they have a whole process behind it, and then we kind of learn all of them. So first one, let's look at this one, 6x plus 9. Um, and this is standard form, and this is factor form where I have it actually 3, which was a common factor between these two. I took it out, and then I, divid I divided both of them, and then... This is inside the parentheses, so this is the factored form. And this is a quadratic equation, and this is its factored form. This is a just a polynomial expression. This is a binomial, two terms. Uh, this is its factored form. This is a trinomial with the highest degree of four, and this is its factored form. So what our goal is to mainly look for the greatest common factor and then greatest common factor is the number, the largest term that evenly divides each term, everything, not just one or two, has to be both. So what do you notice from above? When finding greatest common factor of coefficient, coefficients are the bigger numbers. Um, when we are finding the greatest common factor of the coefficient, look for the greatest common factor. When we are finding greatest common factor of the variable, we look for the um, common exponent or the greatest common exponents or the highest or the biggest exponent that is present in both. There is a method that you can get the greatest common factor using the first and second number in the calculator. Um, factoring using the greatest common factor you have to type this in the calculator. You write GCF, parentheses, um, you put the first number and the second number and it will show you the greatest common factor. I have not tried this in the Desmos calculator, so I'm not familiar with, but um, I can look into it and I can share a video later. All right, let's work on some examples. Identify the greatest common factor. I have two terms over here, 14x squared and 24x. 
So first thing you have to look for is I have coefficient 14 and 24. These are the normal numbers. And I have to find a common factor or the number that divides both of these numbers. And the number has to be greatest number, not the smallest number. They both are even, so I know 14 and 24 both are divided by 2. This is 2 times 7, or 14 divided by 2 is a 7. And 14 divided by, 24 divided by 2 is um, 12. But let's see if I can try any other number. Actually, no other number works because um, 14 has factors which are 2 times 7. It's a prime number, so it can be divided, it can only be divided by two numbers, 2 and 7. So my greatest common factor has to be 2. So the common number will be 2. I write 2 because common for here is both 2. This is the greatest number which is common in both. And then this is x squared. That means you have 2x over here and then this is just 1x. So how many common are there? Just 1. So I pick 1 common and put over here. So this is the greatest common factor. So greatest common factor of the first example is 2x. I do not have to um, divide or write anything right now. I just have to identify the greatest common factor. So this is the greatest common factor. 2 and x. So 2x is the greatest common factor together. You should be able to do number um, 2 on your own. Number three, 4x squared, 18x, and 24. So first thing I have to do is I have to find a common number that divides everything. So four, your multiples of four are one times four, and then two times two is four. Then nothing else, let's do it 18. 18 is one time 18. 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 6 is 18, and you go reverse. Let's go with 24. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. Now, biggest number, which is common in all of them, has to be... 2 because um, you do not have 18 is not divisible by 4 24 is divisible by 4 so 2 is the only number and biggest number which is common in all of them 1 is smaller than 2 so I can't take 1 and then um, 4 is bigger but then 18 doesn't have a 4 so it's wrong and 24 has a 4 but it has to be in all of them so, yep, my greatest common factor is actually 2. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the variables. I'm going to look for how many variables. It's an x and an x. This one is just an x and this one doesn't have an x. So, x is, there's no x. So, x is not in all three of them. So, I do not have any variable which is common number. So, this is your greatest common factor here. Four, you should be able to do four by yourself as well. Let's see the next one. It is 35 x squared and 63. I can totally see I do not have any x over here, so I don't have any x which is common. But I have some numbers. This is 1 times 35, 2, it doesn't go on to 3, 4, 5. 5 times 7 is 35. 63 is 1 times 63, it doesn't go on 2, 3 times 21, 4, 5, 6, no, 7 times 9. Now what is the common biggest number which is common in both of them? It's 7. So greatest common factor is 7 and it has x and x but this one has no x so x is not common. So 7 is the greatest common factor. Number that is divisible 
or it is able to divide both of them uh, evenly like without leaving any decimal or fraction you should be able to do number six on your own so factoring is pretty easy as well once you're able to find the greatest common factor it just gets easier from there first step you do is you find the greatest common factor so this is your step number one step number one you figure out the greatest common factor second you divide that um, both of these by the greatest common factor and then you just write out a greatest common factor outside the parentheses and the leftover goes inside so let's see how you do it first thing i'm going to find the greatest common factor great common factor you can use your space if you have confusion this is 6x squared so my greatest common factor is 1 times 6 is 6 and 2 times 3 is 6 same way I'm going to find for um, 9 and x. This is 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. So greatest common factor, 3 is present in both. So your greatest common factor is 3. But pay attention, hold on, you have variables. This one has x, x. And this one is just an x. So single x is common in both. So greatest common factor is 3x so 3x is your greatest common factor second thing you do is you divide both of them by the greatest common factor now there are so many ways you can divide um, eventually when you are you have practice you actually don't need the step that i'm writing um, you can just divide it in your head so the division would be actually 3 over x and over 3x like that so this technically is done in the head most of the time. We never write this out. But this is just for the learning purpose, like why or how am I doing? 6 divided by 3 is 2. So leftover is 2. x divided by x, you're left with single x. And plus goes in the middle. 9 divided by 3 is 3. x divided by x is cancels out, so it's gone. So this is your leftover after dividing. Now your answer, final answer is GCF goes outside 3x and the leftover, which is 2x plus 3, goes back in. So this is my answer. Now there's actually a way you can check your answer and I can actually show you that that why am I correct? So I'm gonna do the check process whether I'm correct or not. You can check in, in Desmos as well. You can graph your question, you can graph your answer, they should overlap and there you go, you're correct. But this is the manual multiplication. So I wrote my answer and this is reverse i did reverse of distribution so what i'm going to do is i'm going to distribute it back 3x multiplied by 2x 3 times 2 is 6 x times x is x squared plus 3 multiplied by 3x multiplied by 3 is 3 times 3 is 9 and there you go x so wasn't that my question 6x squared plus 9x so i'm correct So let's find the greatest common factor and do some um, factorization. Write an equivalent expression. That means they both are equal. First thing, find the common, common or greatest common factor. I have 12. So 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4 is 12 and then same goes for 36 1 times 36 2 times 18 3 times 12 and um, 4 times 9 and the grace common factor actually is 4 you have m squared that means you have mm -M. this one doesn't have an m so m is not common so greatest common factor actually is, so my GCF is 4. 
you divide this by four, this by four, that is technically after a while will be done in the head. So four is your greatest common factor. Um, 12 divided by four is three M square minus 36 divided by four is nine. That's my answer. You should be able to do the next one on your own. Um, just finding the greatest common factor will be a little tricky because the numbers are big, but it's not a big deal. You should be able to find it. I am going to try the next one. The greatest common factor actually um, it's pretty easy because you can see all of them are multiples of 5. This is 5 times 1, this is 5 times 5, and this is 5 times 3. So greatest common factor is 5. This one has n squared. This is n and there's no n, so n is not common in all three of them. So the, my greatest common factor has to be 5. And then you can do this step actually with pencil. So you can erase it. 5 divided by 5, you're left with n squared minus, you're left with five, 25 divided by 5 is 5, you're left with 5n plus 15 divided by 5 is a 3. And there you go. This is my answer. These two are, um, again, easy. Sometimes you actually don't have any grace common factor. That's your clue. Um, I'm going to help you with this one because this one is a negative number. And um, let's see. Negative 12. So minus is going to be taken out. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and 6 times 2, which I'm reversing. So I'm going to stop. Same over here with 16. Um, this is x squared and this is x. So I have x common. 1 times 16, 2, 2 times 8 is 16, 3, no, 4 times 4 is 16. So as you can see, your greatest common factor is 4 and x. So your greatest common factor is 4x, but also minus, because you have a minus. Now this division is little um, fun because you have a negative over here. And this time actually I'm using a pencil, so I'm gonna erase it later. So I divide this by negative four X. Negative 12 divided by negative four is a positive three, so three goes inside. X squared divided by X is X. This part as well divided by negative four. Positive 16 divided by 4 is negative 4. X divided by X is gone. So you, this is your answer. And once I'm done, this is never shown. So you can erase it. Once you have practice, this is all done in head. So there you go. I erased it. It's gone. So negatives, yes, you have to pay attention that you have to divide by the negatives. Other than that, and it's easy. And then for check, for check purposes in the calculator, type both of these equations in the Desmos. Um, graphs should overlap. If they're overlapping, um, yes, you are correct. So this is one of the clues on the test um, that, hey, there you go, this is my answer. So go ahead, finish the questions that you have over here and you have small practice that needs to be done as well today.